It's Tales from the Bar with Man Bun Nick from Wolfhead Distillery, and it's good to have you back, man. Uh, first off, uh, I know Valentine's Day coming up on Friday, which is a busy day for you guys at Wolfhead. Absolutely. It's great to be back, Mark. Uh, it's definitely a busy holiday for uh, the uh, restaurant industry. Uh, and it'll definitely be uh, interesting as always. The entertainment value from Valentine's and the lead up to Valentine's is just phenomenal. Yeah, I'm sure the people watching is pretty good getting the dynamics, whether it's a first date, whether it's the 30th date, you see some pretty cool stuff. Honestly, behind the bar, we're watching people. Like Our job is seriously watching people's body language. Yeah. So, I mean, if there's two bartenders on, we see two, a couple sit at the bar. And like within, honestly, five minutes of their conversation, we're pulling the other one aside and being like, so, what, third day, fifth day? <laughs> now, my question to you as a bartender, do you feel you get better tips on Valentine's Day because people are trying to impress the date, show off a little bit, or is that kind of a myth? Oh, no, absolutely. Absolutely. You will have the worst tippers on a normal night. <laughs> on come Valentine's Day, they're just like, oh, 25% yeah. all the Look time. Look at me, babe, yeah. Look how I roll. Mind you, that person, though, is probably the person who's like, Oh, five dollars on a hundred dollar bill normally. So <laughs> no, I mean like people definitely try and impress, and if they don't, which also happens, which I've seen that happen, where you know you see the guy go pay for the bill, and I look, the girl there looks at the receipt, and she's just like, oh. Uh, I'm interested. I see you have like this new. Is that like a cinnamon? Yeah. So there? at Wolfhead, this is our first limited run product that we've done so far. We will be celebrating our fourth anniversary in May, but uh, this past Christmas we released the cinnamon whiskey. Hmm. It's a really good flavor. It pretty much tastes exactly like a cinnamon bun. We when I hear cinnamon whiskey, I think fireball. Is it anything close to that? It's going to be similar to, but it's not going to have that same fiery characteristic. Okay. What makes this one stand out really is we use caramelized sugar, which is one of the most expensive ones we can use. Mm. But it really brings in that rounded, smoky, toasted flavor. And people kind of ask, what's in that? What is it? And it's like... It's toasted sugar. And that's okay. essentially our caramelized sugar that's giving that flavor to it. Right. What are you making us today? So with the cinnamon whiskey, have a lot more fun to play with. Uh, we're going to be making a cocktail called the Snowdrift. Uh, you know, the name comes, you'll see where the name comes from when I finish the cocktail off. Uh, you know when snow sticks around for a while, it looks pretty, and then all of a sudden it gets dirt on top of it? Well, that's pretty much what this drink's going to look like at the end, but it's going to taste way better. <laughs> Okay. So what we're going to do is we're using the main ingredients going to be the cinnamon whiskey. What we're doing is one ounce cinnamon whiskey. I have a cocktail shaker half filled with ice already. You can't see that. There is ice in there. Yes. He's confirming it. A little bit. We're going just like a quarter ounce banana caramel vodka. Oh, you guys make that as well? Yes. We, you know, I want to integrate at least two products in as much yeah. as I can. I want to, you know, drive those sales up at the retail store. <laughs> got to keep you employed, man. Oh, exactly. You know, I want to create my own job security. <laughs> and then we'll do one ounce of rum chata. So, everything in the shaker. Going to give it a couple good shakes. All you're wanting to do, the whole point of shaking is you just want to dilute a little bit of that ice, turn it into water, put it into the cocktail, and chill it. The more you shake it, the more water is going to go into it, also the colder it's going to get. I see you put your whole body into that. Oh, you yeah. You got like a, a little move. So is there too much thing as too much shaking? Yeah. Anytime you go, like anytime you use, this is like a Caribbean liqueur. So it's got stabilizers in it. If you're using fresh dairy, milk, cream, if you over shake it, it's going to get too thick. Oh. Okay. You're going to start to actually turn it into like almost like a buttercream okay, almost. So yeah, you won't get that and you'll end up getting a much lower yield on it. So okay. you, with a fresh milk or fresh dairy, light shake and you just want to get a nice foam on top. Nice. Cool. I came across this trick from another bartender who works at a oh. tiki bar. Uh, uh, you to be doing this? I gave the okay. <laughs> I asked. Yeah. So the fun uh, thing about cinnamon and oh, yeah. what going through there is you've actually even changed the color a little bit. It's a little bit uh, darker than uh, uh, would be coming right out of the jar. What is that? That, that is called? a snowdrift. That is the snowdrift. The snow looks drift. delicious. All right, hit up Wolfhead. Go get the snowdrift today, and we'll actually uh, post the recipe on our blog section as well. Absolutely, we'll get that posted. Yeah. Uh, the whole point is for you to take these cocktails, make them at home.